Hello VC. Welcome. Today I wanted to share with you 10 records I have in my collection that I haven't seen anybody else in the VC show. Now, I'm sure some of you have these records. I haven't watched all the videos that are out there, but these are some of them I haven't seen that I'd really like to share with you. Starting with Attention Black Sabbath. This came out in 1972. It's a German press. It has all the songs off their first record except the song Black Sabbath. And then they also added Iron Man and Paranoid. It's on that Fontana label right there. Boy, when I found this, I thought, that must be extremely rare. Must be valuable. I pulled it up on Discogs, medium value, 10 bucks. But I still enjoy it. Next record up, Buck Cherry, Confessions. This came out in 2013. It has songs on it that have to do with all the seven deadly sins. So it's kind of a concept album. That's Josh Todd, lead singer of the band. Has some great songs on it, like Nothing Left But Tears, Water. Now, Ken Nelson, the lead guitar player, did all the artwork for this album. He also signed it for me, all the boys in the band did. Now he did all this artwork here. You've got Gluttony, Wrath, Greed, and Sloth. And over here, Pride, Envy, and Lust. It's a very good record. I enjoy it, and I recommend it. Next record, I have not seen anybody show this. 1986, Jimi Hendrix, and it's the from the official video, Johnny B. Good has a lot of Jimmy's best stuff on it. I've not seen that one shown in the VC before. Now, how about some King Gizzard? King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard, Polly Gondwana Land. This came out in 2017. That was their big year when they put out five records. They promised us five, they delivered five, each one in a different genre. This one is their prog masterpiece. I highly recommend Polygon Land. If you like Pink Floyd or prog rock like King Crimson, this one takes us on a journey through time and space. Of course, Gondwana Land was before the continents all broke up. At the end of our journey, we wind up being able to see the fourth color. So I highly recommend that one and their record, Murder of the Universe. Next up, 1995, Porcupine Tree, Sky Moves Sideways. This is their third record, and it's my favorite Porcupine Tree record. This is really Floyd-like. They got songs on here like Sky Moves Sideways, Part 1 and 2, Stars Die, and Moon Loop. Porcupine Tree, Sky Moves Sideways. Next, one of the cool things about hanging out down at the record store, the first thing that's going to happen to you is you're going to meet cool people. And I met Parker Reed. He worked down at the record store over the last few years, started his own band, and actually printed his own record. Had it pressed. This is 20 out of 100. Now, Parker Reed's band is the Lucid Dreamers. Here's a picture of Parker kicking back in Eau Claire. This is great indie rock. You'd really enjoy it, friends. But I have not seen Parker Reed shown in the VC yet. Next up, one of Alice Cooper's guitar players, Ryan Roxy. Imagine your reality. We got to meet Ryan before the show up in the Twin Cities. I arrived a few hours early, so we were out back by the buses. Ryan came off, got to meet him. He signed this record to my wife, as you can see. The cool thing about this is you can change the covers if you like. You want to go with that one? You want to go with blue? Or the red one? Now this has great songs on it. He actually has an appearance on here by Robin Zander, and they cover California Man. Here's the track listing. Doesn't, does my generation, 
very good. Straight ahead rock and roll. Ryan Roxy. Next up, 2006 Silver Sun Pickups. I went down to the record store. I was looking for something new. I needed something new to listen to. And Billy, my friend down there who owns a record store, so when he recommends something I listen, he said, Mike, Silver Sun Pickups. This is great. It's pop, prog, uh, proto-pop, proto-punk, just great. Pull up the songs Rusted Wheel, um, Little Lovers So Polite, uh, and the hit off this was Lazy Eye. I highly recommend this one. Silver Sun Pickups, Carnivass. And that leads us to Alice Cooper's other guitar player, Nita Strauss and her album, Controlled Chaos. Now I told you we arrived at the show up there a few hours early. Nita came off the bus too. My wife got to get her picture with Nita. Of course Nita signed this one for us. Nita now is with Demi Lovato's band. She's left Alice Cooper and cashing in, going pop where the big bucks are. At a show up at the Grand Casino in Hinkley, before that show, Nita Strauss threw out her uh, sweatband, and I caught it. You've never seen a white man jump so high. Now last but not least, we're gonna go with 2014 Winger. Better days coming. All Music gives this four and a half out of five stars, and I agree, friends. This is a great record. If you haven't heard the song Rat Race, So Long China, highly recommend this. Of course, you got Red Beach, he's playing in White Snake right now. John Roth, who's playing with Starship. This is a great record. Comes on this clear vinyl. picture of my wife when she got to meet the band. She's a big Winger fan, and so am I. I highly recommend that album, friends. Better days coming, and you bet they are. As always, friends, I want to thank you for taking the time to watch, subscribe, and like. I really enjoy the comments everybody makes. I'm coming up on one year here in the VC. Really enjoying it. I want to say thank you to everybody. Talk soon.